All right, what's up everybody? This is Sam from Zorada Raven Bets. In this video, we'll be doing a quick wrap up of the picks, the bets, and I will be talking about the prop the bets that I'm taking for UFC Fight Night 189, Rosen Strike versus Sakai. So before starting, if you don't follow me yet on Instagram, if you'd like to start following, I put up there some of the, the bets that I take uh, before the videos. So if you're interested, feel free to start following me. You can get this early on. And uh, so real quick, I'm just gonna be breaking down uh, one of those fights and just from the from here. And if you're interested in other breakdowns, there is in the, the link of this video, the description to the, the full card breakdowns when I record it. And also there is one fight missing, that is Camuela Kirk versus uh, Makona Mirkani. I'm yet to go through the videos and then I'll just add these comments, all right? So between Jairzin, Rosin Strike and Sakai, I'm picking Rosin Strike, I'm not betting the fight. Dusko Todorovic versus Gregory Rodriguez, I'm picking betting Rodriguez, 1.75% of my money. Roman Dolize versus Laureano and Stolapoli, I'm picking and betting Dolize. Mason Jones versus Alan Patrick, I'm picking Jones, not betting the fight. Muslin, Muslin Salikov versus Francisco Trinaldo, I think this fight has been cancelled, but I was with Salikov, but not betting the fight. Sean Woodson versus Yusef Zalao. I'm picking Woodson, but betting Zalao, 1% of my money. Manon Firo versus Marina Moroz. Picking and betting Firo, half percent of my money. Montana De La Rosa versus Ariane Lipsky. I'm picking and betting Lipsky. This is uh, the biggest bet of the uh, that I have alongside Antonio Arroyo. Now Lipsky, it's at plus 220, so I'm keeping the same uh, amount that I'm betting. But uh, uh, if, you, if you're seeing this video and you have Lipsky at plus 220, it's even better. So Miguel Beza versus Santiago Ponzinibbio. I'm picking uh, Beza not betting the fight. Jordan Levitt versus Claudio Puez. I'm picking Levitt not betting the fight. Turner Bowser versus Ziller Latifi. I'm picking and betting Bowser. Marcin Tiburo versus Walt Harris. Picking and betting Tiburo. Tom Breeze versus Antonio Arroyo. Picking and betting Arroyo. My second biggest bet of the card alongside Ariane Lipsky. All right. So now to the prop bets. That's what I have for you guys here. I hid one of those columns in respect to my Patreons. It is available in the $15, $50 tier. So just real quick, I'm going to be talking about the bets I'm taking. Obviously, you guys know that uh, what defines a winning strategy is the amount. So what I say here doesn't mean that I'm throwing lots of money on, it, on, on, on this. And it's about the proportion. All right. So Cloud plays by decision. I like this a little bit just in case uh, Jordan Levitt cannot take him to the ground. And uh, it's, a, it's a tricky fight, guys, because, uh, you know, Levitt, he's a, he's a better grappler. He could even, you know, impose his physical skills on Poyes. Poyes is a diff, distant striker, but he's also evolving. So it's a quite tricky one. That's why I'm, I'm betting by decision both of these guys. The difference here is the proportion, you know. And I'm not taking the fight go to the decision uh, for the same reason. Because with this, I can work better on the proportion. Plus, at some time, some bookies, they... They are not fair, you know, with the calculations of the fight goes to the decision. If you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, make the calculation yourself, you, you figure it out. Salah by decision, plus 250, I like this one. I think it's a decent one because Zala has, Zala has some chances, especially by decision. If you by decision, this is a good one. Moros by decision, more like a cover bet. Alan Patrick inside the distance and Alan Patrick by TKO. The reason is Mason Jones, despite the physical pressure and all the skills, his chin is quite up. He has been in some wars. Patrick has moved recently to better camp in the US. So there are some uh, uh, questions to be answered to me in this fight. I like to take uh, a small step on Patrick on these lines because, like I said, Jones' chin is up and Patrick, he's a very pow uh, He doesn't have KOs under his record, but still, he's a powerful athletic guy. If he rounds out a little bit his striking, he can land with more accuracy. He definitely can put a guy out, you know. Bowser by decision. I think this is a very good likely scenario. Latifi by decision. Also just different proportions here. Lipsky by TKO and Lipsky inside the distance. Lipsky, she's a very tough girl. You know, she's a big girl when she pushes forward. She's dangerous. I know that Montana, she's super tough. She her, She's never been TKO'd. She can take some shots, but um, I don't know, at some point, if... Montana cannot take this to the ground and Lipsky keeps landing. She can land heavier. She has some chances of, the, of for the KO, especially. To me, this line is totally off, so I like a bet on, on uh, Lipsky by TKO. Breeze by submission, more like a cover bet for me. Arroyo by decision, I like this one. Gregory by decision is also a pretty good one. Plus 50, 550. 
Then um, then Rodriguez versus Todorovic goes the distance at plus 230. I think this one's an interesting one too, you know, because Rodriguez, he's... Uh, I didn't break this one uh, before. So Rodriguez basically, he can he has good power, you know, and Todorovic has a good chin. Rodriguez has better ground game. Todorovic has a chance to KO Rodriguez, but I don't know. I, it's, it's a diff difficult one to call. So that's why I think... Uh, uh, the bet on Rodriguez to me makes sense because he's a little bit better everywhere, you know, he's a big guy despite the KO losses, you know so I think Rodriguez takes this by decision that's why I like this bet and I also like this good distance because Todorovic can also win and he could win by decision so this is also a good one too Dolizia by submission, has good leg locks he's quite dangerous there, you know he's the bigger guy in this uh, in this matchup and I have a, a round hop Robin here with uh, five different fights, uh, Sakai over one and a half, Harris and Tibur over one and a half, Breeze and Arroyo over, over two and a half, Rodriguez Sodorovic over one and a half, and then uh, Latifi Bowser over two and a half. I have two round robins here, one is a, a, two, a three team and the other is a two team, actually reversed here, this is a three one. So if you don't know what I'm talking about here, feel free to google it, you know. To see what a Robin, Robin, Robin is and uh, how this how this would roll, and then I have a Dolidza by decision. I think it's a good one, and the Tibura by decision. This is a very interesting one too. Walt Harris by decision, more like a cover bet, and Sakai by decision also quite interesting because Sakai will push the pace. If he doesn't get KO'd, he can uh, he can edge a decision because Jairzinho has a good chin. You know, Sakai has some power but not much. So Sakai by decision is an interesting one too. All right. So guys, this will do for this video. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, share with your friends. And if you'd like to support me on Patreon, there are basically uh, two ways. One is a Patreon, the second is you can reach out to me directly if you're interested in any type of deal or partnership, all right? So for the Patreon, for $10, you get the early releases so you can catch the best odds and you know combine the bets. Real quick, just to show what I mean when you have a... Um, When you have this tier, so for the previous month, I separate here for you guys just some bets that I took, combining some uh, some cards, you know. So I combined some UFC 262 with UFC Fight Night 188. Some of them came as losses, other came as uh, wins, you know. So when you win, you get the best odds, like it got a huge in an early market, you know. So some just not so many examples here, but that's what I mean, you know. When you get uh, an early market you can you can, can combine so you see I combine Darius with some fighters there so you can maximize your profit in this regard you know plus in the fifty dollar tiers line by line of everything that I'm doing and then you can guys can see and uh, you know see all the consistency and the profit in this case the last event was pretty profitable near twelve units was really good all right so just to show and that with the ten dollar tiers you guys can basically see what I'm doing. And uh, anticipate the bets for fifteen dollars. I have uh, the same spreadsheet only with the prop bets, showing line by line what I'm doing on the props, so you guys can take all the props, you know, like this one that I showed, but with the amounts, all right. And for fifty dollar tiers, line by line, that spreadsheet, so you guys, if you trust me from previous time, you can basically just copy, all right, guys. Uh, again, if you like, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and in until next time, this is Sam from Zrodermeme Bet, bringing the best, most consistent and transparent betting strategy for you.